So welcome back guys. So today we'll be continuing flip flop. So we'll be seeing the truth table, characteristic table and the excitation for SR flip flop. So truth table we have already seen. The, I'll just uh, draw it again so that. So this is our truth table. So we we already know what is clock S and R. So I have written here Q n plus one. So the Q n plus one represents the next state, and our Q n represents our previous state output. And invalid, we know that is not used state. So we can also use like uh, for previous state, we can also use Q n minus one. And for next state, we can use Q n. So this must be used as together. But I used Q n and Q n plus one. So you can use both of them. So this is our truth table. Now we'll see how the characteristic table looks like. So first of all, let, let me tell you what is characteristic table. So the characteristic table defines the state of each flip flop as a function of its input and the previous state. So we'll be using the previous state as the input and the input of the flip flop to see how the output will, will turn out to be. Clock will be set to one. We will not write that, but we must know that clock is set to one. And our three inputs, so the combinations are. So these are possible combinations. So now we will need to look and find the value of this all. So S and R, we know that zero uh, zero. So it will give the previous output Q N, and our previous output is zero. So it will be zero. For zero one, it will be what zero. For one zero, it will be one. And for one one it will be not used or cross. And for zero zero again it will be the previous state output and the previous state output was one. So we'll just write that for zero one it is zero and for one zero it is one. And for one one it is nothing. So this was the characteristic table for it. So now we'll see what is excitation table. So let me tell you the definition first. So this excitation table shows the minimum inputs that are necessary to generate a particular next state. That is from it. It needs to excite one user. Suppose we are at previously we are at zero state, and the minimum number of inputs that is required to change from zero to one, when the current inputs are known, and the current out like the outputs will be take as input. So that is known as the excitation table. So let me show the excitation is obtained from the characteristic table. So let me write the possible values for the input. So for zero zero, let us see for zero zero. These are the two cases, and we see that S remains same, but R changes, so that is not allowed. So for S, we write zero, and R will write cross. For zero one, for zero one, there is only one case. So this will be S is one, R R is zero. For one zero, this is one thing. So zero one, and for like one one, with these two cases, S is changing, R remains constant. So this will be zero. So this is how you obtain excitation table, characteristic table. So so now we will see like the uh, expression for the characteristic table. Suppose we are we have our inputs are like S and R. Let me draw the Carnot map for it. And our this is our Q N. This is S and R. So this will be zero 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 one one zero one one and one zero zero and one. And this is zero zero. And this is one zero cross one. So now we'll do like we'll make first of all a quad here and a pair here. So the expression for our output is Q n plus one. We get this will be a quad. So this will be first of all let 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 us make a so this will be Q R Q n bar Q n R bar and this will be S. So this was the equation for our characteristic table. Now we can similarly obtain the equation for like the excitation table. So again, we'll, here we will make two maps, two cell maps, two variable maps. We can write something like this: Q n and Q n plus one, zero one, zero one, zero one, zero one. This for so this is for suppose for S. So it was zero one zero cross. This is cross. Zero one zero. So now this is the only pair that can be made, and this is the only pair that can be made for this. For S, it is like, and for like R, it is Q N. So these are the logical equation for excitation table. So this was all about it. So thanks for watching it.